All right, you guys. Okay, start. <laughs> okay, Tom, it's really nice to meet you in the IA conference. I've been uh, reading about your work, and then, uh, and uh, from my background, I studied with Don and Ross and also Ginger. So, can you tell me a little bit about your approach to Enneagram as compared um, to other schools, and then how you actually see? Uh, your pros and its impact on people. I know that you have done great work with uh, 25 years old. So, you know, tell us Since about 1980, I've been working <laughs> with it. And I learned um, NLP and various other kind of uh, uh, methodologies and mm -hmm. alongside the Enneagram. I learned them at the same time. And the goal within it was to um, bring together the diagnostic mm -hmm. power of the Enneagram and the, the, the kind of self-understanding that people have and understanding of their own patterns and motivations and worldview and behavior, mm -hmm. along with some good methods for making changes, for making personal changes and uh, identifying things within themselves that create, where they create difficulties for themselves where they have blind spots or uh, typical illusions that they get uh, caught up in, mm -hmm. or also um, maybe sometimes resolving elements of their history and their family background so that they become more free in the present to go forward and live a more complete life. Mm -hmm. So actually I know that you've been going to Japan and you know uh, the Asian culture uh, do you see that there is a lot of difference in the approach in uh, using Enneagram or how do you see now after 30 years of uh, teachings, do you see uh, uh, going in a different direction or how people perceive uh, what's needed for their own personal work? Certainly in Japan, the emphasis is on uh, social collaboration mm -hmm. and their individual's relationship to the group. And the Enneagram is more Western in the sense that it focuses first and more, most strongly, I think, on the individual. But I'm always surprised to find how uh, open and interested and useful people find the Enneagram in other cultures, including Asian cultures. And also that there is a, a kind of new interest in changing and evolving and self-actualizing in some ways that these psychological models have been working their way around the world and are each takes a different flavor in a different culture and there are different considerations but the basic understanding of your personality style and also the basic desire to maybe have a more complete life in some way is is there and present sort of universally mm -hmm. yeah. and i think uh, for China and uh, Hong Kong, actually, uh, we do not have a lot of application, uh, the model that is there. Do, would there be any advice for us uh, before coming to your training? Uh, what we actually uh, should be avoid doing or uh, when we are pretty new to the Enneagram, just learning the types, the structures. When people are new to the Enneagram, one thing that they immediately begin to do after they've learned their style, and sometimes that can take a while, that can be its own process sometimes, but once they've learned their own style, they begin to try to catch themselves in the act, in the sense that if they recognize they're having an unhelpful reaction to something that is consistent with their Enneagram style, they begin to try to kind of uh, interrupt it sooner rather than later, and, or to, to, to sit back and maybe take a few deep breaths and count to five <laughs> and, <laughs> before they have some sort of a, a reaction that is typical of their style, or they begin to just sort of observe the pattern and realize that the pattern is, is coming up. And that's a good first step, that's a good beginning and a good, um, a, a good thing to focus on. Also, people will uh, use the Enneagram in their relationships very often and begin to understand their partners or people that are close to them or people that they have difficulty with and they understand them in a new way 
that is less judgmental and less defensive. It, uh, it's sort of, I've seen the Enneagram save many marriages, for instance, and it's, it's very good in situations where people are um, w where they love each other, but they also do things that drive each other crazy and create conflict. And suddenly they realize, oh, this my partner or this other person is not just trying to create conflict. Their behavior and their actions are sincerely motivated out of their view of the world and what they think is important at that time. And then beyond these kinds of possibilities, I think you need methods. And I think techniques and uh, psychological techniques and techniques for good communication and techniques that help the individual uh, change and self-actualize to have new choices and also to let go of old patterns and to let go of old um, kind of decisions and, and kind of stuck points and to, to go beyond them leads to people becoming generally happier and more effective and uh, enjoying their relationships more and enjoying life better. Well, that's very really good information for us and tips and I think we're really looking forward to seeing you in Asia. Thank you. Yeah. I'd be looking forward to coming. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>